How often do new mothers ask, is my baby developing normally? We're here to help navigate through this exciting journey of your baby's growth from birth to six months. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of baby characteristics and body development. We aim to provide a general guide, shedding light on common changes that occur within this time frame. So whether you're a first time mom or a seasoned parent, this guide is for you. Let's dive right into the first week after birth. In the first week, your baby might feel like a little stranger. But don't worry, this is completely normal. You'll notice that your newborn's feeding habits might be erratic at first. With frequent feedings that can be short or long, they may sleep a lot, but remember, their sleep pattern will not match yours. Physically, they'll have soft spots on their head, known as fontanelles. These are completely normal and will gradually harden over time. You may also notice changes in your baby's skin color, which can range from a fair, almost pink, to a darker hue. This too is perfectly normal and will stabilize in the coming weeks. Your newborn will demonstrate primitive reflexes. They might startle easily, grasp anything that touches the palm of their hand, or even make stepping motions when held upright. Remember, every baby is unique and might not adhere strictly to these timelines. By the end of the first month, you'll start noticing some major developments. A baby's growth is a fascinating journey, and this first month is packed with significant milestones. One of the first things you'll notice is a growth spurt. Your little one might seem to be stretching out before your very eyes. This is perfectly normal and a sign that your baby is thriving. You might also notice changes in their sleeping and feeding habits. Babies typically start to sleep for longer stretches and might begin to develop a more predictable feeding schedule. Remember, every baby is unique and will develop at their own pace. So don't worry if these changes aren't happening exactly as you expected. Now, let's talk about the development of senses. At birth, babies have limited vision, but by the end of the first month, their sight is starting to improve. They'll begin to focus on objects that are 8 to 12 inches away, typically just the right distance for them to see your face when you're holding them. Isn't that amazing? And then there's hearing. Your baby has been listening to the world around them since they were in the womb. Now they're starting to recognize familiar sounds, like your voice. You might find them turning their head towards you when you speak. This is a great time to start reading, singing, or talking to your baby as it helps to stimulate their developing hearing skills. One of the most delightful milestones in the first month is your baby's first real smile. This isn't just a random facial expression. It's a genuine response to something they find pleasurable, like your voice or your face. This heartwarming moment is often a highlight for new parents. In this first month of life, your baby is constantly learning, growing, and developing new skills. It's an exciting time filled with changes and new experiences. You're doing a great job, mom. Let's move on to the developments in the second month. The second month brings more interactive and physical changes. Around this time, you'll notice your little one becoming more alert and aware of their surroundings. Colors and shapes start to become more vivid for them and their vision improves, allowing them to focus on objects up to 18 inches away. This is a delightful period as your baby may begin to recognize familiar faces, yes, including yours, which is a significant milestone in their cognitive development. 
Now, let's talk about social smiles. Nothing warms the heart more than your baby's first genuine smile. In the second month, these social smiles start to emerge as a response to your smiles and voices. This is an important step in your baby's social development as it shows they're beginning to understand social interactions. Moving on to sounds, you may hear your baby making adorable cooing sounds. This is their first attempt at vocalizing and it's a precursor to speech. Listen closely and you'll notice these coos are not random, but a response to your talks, your singing, or even to the toys you're showing them. Lastly, improvements in head and neck control become more apparent. While lying on their tummy, your baby will start to lift their head and chest off the ground using their arms for support. This might seem like a small feat, but it's a huge step in their physical development as it strengthens the muscles they'll later use for sitting and crawling. While every baby is unique and develops at their own pace, these are some of the common developments you can look forward to in the second month. Remember to celebrate these milestones. No matter how small they may seem, they're all signs of your little one growing and learning about their world. As your baby grows, so does their curiosity. Let's explore what happens in the third month. In the third month, your baby starts to become more active and engaging. As we head into the third month, you'll notice that your baby's strength and control over movements are increasing. They're no longer the fragile newborn you first held in your arms. Their neck muscles are getting stronger, allowing them to lift and hold up their head for longer periods. This is the beginning of them exploring the world around them more independently. At the same time, their hand-eye coordination is improving. They might start reaching out for objects or even trying to hold them. Although they're not quite ready to play catch, this is a significant step towards interacting with their surroundings. Now let's talk about recognition. Your baby is starting to become familiar with the world around them. They may begin to recognize familiar faces and objects. That teddy bear that's been in the crib since day one. Your baby might just give it a knowing look. And yes, that includes your face too. That's right. Your baby will start to recognize you and respond to your voice. They might even reward you with a gummy smile, which is a heartwarming milestone for every parent. Speaking of smiles, let's move on to laughter. It's one of the most delightful sounds in the world and your baby is getting ready to share their first giggles with you. Around the third month, your baby may start to laugh. It might not be a full-blown belly laugh yet, but even a chuckle is enough to, uh, to fill your heart with joy. Remember, every baby is unique and develops at their own pace. If your little one isn't doing all these things just yet, don't worry. They'll get there in their own time. It's a joy to watch your baby becoming more interactive. Now, let's see what the fourth month brings. The fourth month is a time of great physical development. This is a stage where your baby's muscles start to strengthen and they begin to explore their little world in ways they haven't before. The most exciting development this month might be your baby starting to roll over. This is a huge milestone as it's the first step towards independent movement. It's a joyous moment when you see your little one flip from their back to their tummy for the first time. It might be a bit scary for them, but with your encouragement, they'll soon be rolling over like a pro. Another notable development is babbling. 
your baby's communication skills are blossoming and they'll start to experiment with sounds. You'll hear a mix of vowels and consonants as they try to mimic the sounds they hear around them. It's an adorable symphony of Baba, Mama, and Dada that will melt your heart. In addition to this, your baby's vision undergoes significant improvement. They can now see across the room, though they still prefer to look at things up close. Their color vision is also developing and they can distinguish between bold colors. You'll notice them being drawn to brightly colored toys and objects. Now let's talk about teething. While most babies start teething around six months, some might show signs as early as the fourth month. You might notice increased drooling or your baby might start chewing on their hands or toys. If they seem irritable, it could be because their gums are sore. A gentle gum massage or a cold teething ring can provide relief. It's important to remember that every baby develops at their own pace. So if your little one hasn't achieved these milestones yet, don't fret. They'll get there in their own time. Just continue to support and encourage them in their growth journey. Your little one is becoming more mobile. Let's see what the fifth month has in store. The fifth month is a time of exploration for your baby. As your little one continues to grow and develop, you'll notice some exciting changes that mark this stage of infancy. One of the most noticeable milestones your baby will reach during the fifth month is increased mobility. You might find your baby rolling over from back to front and front to back with ease. They may even start to pivot on their stomach, uh, preparing for the crawling phase. This is their way of exploring the world around them. So make sure their environment is safe for these new adventures. Another significant development at this stage is the strengthening of your baby's grip. Your baby's hand and finger skills are improving. You may notice them reaching for objects with more precision and holding on to toys or other items with a stronger grip. They might even show an interest in self-feeding, using their fingers to pick up and explore foods. Always ensure that small objects and potential choking hazards are out of their reach. Communication is another area your baby is mastering. They'll start making different sounds that go beyond the usual crying or cooing. You might hear them babble or make noises that sound like conversational syllables. They're practicing their vocal cords and learning how to use them to express themselves. Encourage these new sounds by talking and singing to your baby as this interaction is critical for their communication development. It's also important to remember that every baby develops at their own pace. So if your little one hasn't reached these milestones yet, don't worry, they'll get there in their own time. Your baby is becoming more expressive. Let's explore the final month of our journey. By the sixth month, your baby's personality starts to shine. You'll notice a newfound independence as they discover the world around them. The ability to sit without support is a significant milestone that most babies reach by the sixth month. This newfound freedom allows them to explore their surroundings in a whole new way. They may start reaching for toys, turning pages in a book, or playing with their own toes. It's a joy to witness these moments of self-discovery. Along with physical developments, there are some exciting changes in your baby's diet as well. It's around this time that pediatricians often recommend introducing solid foods. This doesn't mean saying goodbye to breast milk or formula, but rather complementing them with some new tastes and textures. 
Initially, you might want to start with simple pured foods like applesauce or mashed banana. Keep in mind, this is a learning process for your baby, so don't be surprised if more food ends up on them than in them at first. Gradually, as they get used to the idea of eating, you can introduce a wider variety of foods. An interesting development during the sixth month is your baby's recognition of their own name. Yes, that's right. They've been hearing it since they were born, and now they're starting to understand that it refers to them. You might notice them turning their head when you call their name, or even responding with a smile or a babble. It's a wonderful affirmation of their growing awareness and comprehension. Six months is also a time of deepening emotional connection. Your baby is starting to distinguish between familiar faces and strangers. So you might notice them becoming a bit more clingy or anxious around people they don't know. This is perfectly normal and an important part of their social and emotional development. Your baby has come a long way in just six months. Let's recap. So why do you think, what have we learned about a baby's development from birth to six months? Starting with the first week, we discovered that babies begin to show their unique personalities and start to exhibit reflexes like rooting and sucking. Moving into the first month, we saw the emergence of major milestones, such as lifting the head, focusing on faces, and responding to sounds. As we journeyed into, into the second month, we noted the development of early social skills, like smiling, cooing, and even beginning to recognize familiar faces. The third month brought even more exciting developments, like reaching out for objects, rolling over, and showing a keen interest in their surroundings. In the fourth month, we observe babies becoming more active, developing better head control, beginning to babble, and even showing signs of teething. By the fifth month, babies were becoming more interactive, showing a sense of humor and even starting to sit with support. And finally, in the sixth month, we saw babies beginning to crawl, recognizing their own name and expressing more complex emotions. Throughout this journey, we've reiterated the uniqueness of each baby's development. No two babies are alike, and it's important to remember that these milestones are guidelines, not deadlines. Regular checkups with the pediatrician are crucial to ensure your little one is growing and developing at their own pace. Remember, you're doing a great job, and your baby loves you just as much as you love them. Before we end, please note, this video is meant to serve as an overall guide, not as a replacement for professional medical advice. It's crucial that you always consult with a healthcare professional if you have any concerns or questions about your baby's growth and development. Every child's journey is unique, each one developing at their own pace. Thank you for watching. Remember, every baby is unique and so is their journey of growth and development.